the women of New Vegas ask me a lot if there's a Mrs. New Vegas. Well, of course there is. You're her. And you're still as perfect as the day we met. Whoops, better put on my newsman fedora here. The Black Mountain radio signal is back after a long absence. Listeners say the new programming is, quote, less for outcasts, more for weirdos. One more story for you. The influx of displaced residents to the refugee camp at Bitter Springs has caused a strain on rations there. NCR officials are asking for donations. That's all for now. This is Mr. New Vegas saying, I'm just no good without you. I could totally say that about my fan base as well, Mr. New Vegas. Hey, everybody! I am DBG Hunter here, and welcome back to more Fallout New Vegas. But today, I'm going by a different alias. I am going as Tribal Space Ninja from the future! I decided to pick up and put on the Chinese stealth armor because of where we're going to be heading off to today! But before we do that, I might as well make note of something that's happened in between the last video and now. I went back to Gunriders, sold a bunch of the useless items that I won't be using, and decided to pick up the Medicine Stick, which is the brush gun. That's the unique version of the brush gun, not just a simple brush gun. It's a pretty fun weapon from all the experimenting I've had with it. I've thoroughly enjoyed messing around with it, even though I shake it a whole lot when I'm aiming down the sight, but that's my lack of investment into guns but yeah you might be wondering well dbg what the hell i thought you said you weren't going to be using the uh chinese style suit since it's not as good as it is in fallout 3. that is true but where we're going to be heading off to kind of dictates that i should probably go in a little bit stealthy also hello terrible pop in nice to see you have made a comeback into this game but before we head off into the location, because that is where we need to go, that has the last con contact that we need to go talk to. The last contact! Uh, I hate myself. Uh, we need to go find out one con who was complaining that he was not good enough for the great cons. Now, the only question is, where did he di disappear to? Uh, I want to pull up my quest real quick. Uh, let's see, where did he disappear to? Oh, he's just over there. Quest markers make everything much easier, but yeah, I hope everyone's been enjoying the series so far. Uh, I've just been getting over an illness, which is why uh, you've seen a lack of a video. Hello! What? Uh, the followers have agreed to take you on as a member. Head on over to Old Mormon Fort. They did? Oh, that's great. Thank you. I'm out of this crummy camp. Hope you don't get eaten by death claws, because I sure as hell know I am, because yes! Where we are heading, if the quest marker will actually appear first. Now, one of the con leaders is indeed right next to Quarry Junction. And if you remember back when we went to the makeshift con camp, yeah, that place had a lot of death claws in it, you know, when they started coming over that ridge line. And, you know, when uh, Lily decided to spaz out and, oh, God, go away, Casadors. Uh, wing! Oh, jeez! Ah, damn it, he poisoned me! Oh, god, this may have been a mistake. Screw you, stranger! I need to get the anti venom! Stranger! Stranger! I'm dying over here, you bastard! Uh, I'm gonna die from poisoning because Stranger wants to have all the limelight. Where's that anti venom? Thank you! Uh, I think that's a couple more. Ca yeah, they're moving back and forth. Those are Cazadors. But I think they're on the other side of that little light bluff. Now, heading over there. Yeah, we've been dealing with death claws and all that stuff. And you might be thinking, TBG, are you gonna be shaking in your boots like you did last time? Well, no. Why? Because I have an explosive solution that can deal with this death claw issue. Because not only did I get uh, the medicine stick at the gun riders, I also picked up a couple little explosive rounds from them for my anti-material rifle. Because you know what? I I ain't, I ain't messing around with death claws. Yeah, I ain't messing around with these guys, especially with how like light armored this thing is. Then they'll just rip me in half with one attack, maybe two attacks if I'm lucky. And, you know, with Lily with us, it, I almost 
didn't notice her because she goes stealth girl whenever I crouch. Uh, her passive perk for me allows me to have a te was it ten percent or twenty five percent critical stealth attack. Where is it? Uh, stealth girl. Uh, ten percent additional damage from stealth attacks. Well, I'm kind of worried there hasn't been a death claw around here since. I know there was like the couple that ran down the hill over there. They might have just not respawned. I think those are just the rad scorpions down in that little crater area past the Good Spring Cemetery. Oh, wait, there's one. I don't think you see me. Uh, boop! Oh, this is going to be fun with all this explosive ammo. Although it wasn't really that subtle. Oh, there's three of them. Alright, well, when in doubt, take the first one. Ow! That's one. Uh oh. Two. Missed. Uh oh. Go away. Three. And. What the hell was that? What, did a round explode in the chamber or something? Thankfully they follow the explosions and not from the person shooting at them, even though the sound of this thing is like God snapping his fingers at them. Uh-oh, I think, I think he's noticed me. Eddie, you kill stealer! Did I just hear a dog barking? Huh, that was weird. Like, I, for a second, I thought I heard Rex barking. And though I may just be going crazy, either one is a possibility. Uh, you know what? Let's drink the Nuka Cola victory. Am I limping? Yes, I'm limping. I might as well just use a stim pack while we're at it. Not a steady, a stim pack. Thank you. Now, our contact, yeah, I hate myself for coming up with that, is right over here. We're literally on the edge of the Deathclaw Purgatory that is at Quarry Junction. Thankfully, none will bother us so long as we're up here. Why the cons thought this was a good location for a drug deal, I, it's beyond me. That's close enough. What do you want with the great cons? Uh, Regis said I could talk to you. Talk to you about speaking against the Great Khan's alliance with Caesar. You can ask, but why would I do that? Carl told me all about the life in the Legion. He says I've got all the makings of a speculatory. Did he also tell you women aren't permitted to serve in the Legion? What? No, he... What do you mean, aren't allowed to serve? Why would he lie about that? If the Great Khan's join the Legion, you'll be sold as a slave. An officer's wife, if you're lucky. That lying little weasel. I almost fell for it, too. All right, you've got a deal. You can tell Papa I won't support an alliance. Nice. And before we leave, since she oh, does have a quest related to her, we might now? as well get that out of the way. What are you doing up here? Awaiting a delivery, but it's a no-show. I'm guessing that the death clause in the quarry have something to do with that. Gee, you think? Uh, what kind of delivery are you expecting? Supplies to make chems. The NCR is the best source since they're hard to come by anywhere else. We don't really use the chems ourselves, just sell them to anybody with the caps. If it ends up hurting the NCR in the process, that's a bonus. Hmm. Well, I don't support hurting the NCR, but I also support getting rich. Seems like an odd place to pick, a pick up a delivery. The Khans and the NCR don't get along. They prefer to shoot us on sight, even if we're not looking for a fight. No, I mean, why, why are you in Deathclaw territory to pick up a delivery? That seems really stupid. Is this legal? I doubt the NCR thinks so. <laughs> Alright, well, I'll see about helping you with your problem. Is that right? What's your angle? No angle, favor for a favor, is expecting to be paid. Eh, you know what, I'm expecting to get paid, of course. That's a motive I can understand. I was expecting a shipment of chemicals. It's usually in a suitcase dropped off in one of the big machines up here. Because of the death clause, I have to assume the suitcase is still in Sloan. Snoop around the place and get it for me. Alright. Are these chemicals dangerous? I wouldn't eat or drink them, but no. They won't explode if you drop them or anything. Anything else I should know? 
Don't kill anybody if you don't have to. I'm a scout and I like to keep a low profile. Uh, do death claws count as people? Because I'm going to be doing a lot of killing of them. Alrighty, so... That's one more spot out for Oh My Papa, but might as well not make a beggar out of me and go get those chemicals for the cons. You know, always nice to get on good terms with them. But before we do that, let's clear out Quarry Junction a bit. We got the ammo, we got the supplies. I think we can handle it without dying too many times. Oop. The hell? Oh, what the hell is that death call do? I need to get a good look at it. I think that was the alpha male. And of course my steady wears off. Thank you, game. Is he over there? What the hell is he doing? Alright, uh, apparently now Wow, he's booking it. Uh oh. And there is Mommy and her batch of beautiful babies. Not anymore! Actually, I think I probably should have shot Mom first. Oh, oh, oh god. He is booking it. Wow, look at Mom run. There go the babies. I think Mom might have noticed me. Or did she? Huh. Well, mom and dad are freaking out down there, so let's take care of mommy first. Here goes mom. Wow, he's hauling ass. And he has no idea. Oh, God. Whoa, look at him go. Hi. How's it going? Uh, if you're looking for the person who was shooting at you, he, he went that way. Yeah, he he went that away. Oh god. Oh. Throw the gal away. Oh crap, I don't have the AP for it. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, recharge. Um Oh Eddie, you saved my ass. You know, for once, I am going to acknowledge you for taking that kill, because he, he he had me dead to rights. There goes another one. Yeah, that clothes kind of become less of a threat and more of a nuisance once you get the anti-material rifle, especially if you get, like, the explosive ammo. I don't know if the explosive ammo is uh, Gunrunners related, or... It, I think it's not. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna take a look. It should be right next to. Uh, let's see. What was it? The five was it five millimeter? No, not five millimeter. Up, oh, wait. There it is. Uh, oh wow! Explosive ammo is gun runners. All right. Well, I got four shots, and I know there's more than four death claws still in the quarry. Speaking of which, one is right here, and... Boop! God, that bonus attack damage from sneak attacks really comes in handy. There's another one. And... Looks like he's about ready to play some football, and... Boop! Touchdown! Uh, come on, guys. Score a field goal? Nope, I can't. He moved from the digger's claw. Come on. Missed. Uh-oh. Come on. Uh-oh. Quick reload! Gotcha. Nice. That deals with the death claw issue. We took out mom, we took out dad, we took out the babies, and there's a nice little nest over here. And we get ourselves a nice little uh, light machine gun. We get some 5.56mm ammo, super stim pack. Uh, we get a couple of death claw eggs that we can sell for 400 each, which is really, really nice. But the thing is, they weigh 7 pounds. And we also get a mini, mini nuke. Which is nice, because if you didn't get gun runners, it's one of the very few locations you can actually get one of these. 
And now we discover Quarry Junction. Hey mom, how's it going? Don't worry, I'll take care of these eggs for you. Oh, she's got like the giblet of a turkey. Hmm. So far, so quiet. It's too quiet. I'm expecting a death claw to come up and just chew on my buttocks. We got something. We got movement. I think they might be up on that ridge line over there. Yeah. Oh, wait, no. Yeah, it looks like it threw up on the ridge line. Oh, no, wait. There's one down here. Ah, uh, I wish I could thread the needle, but I don't think. I think they have a hitbox around those things. Come on. Let's see if we could do it. Nice threaded needle. Sneaky, 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 sneaky. Can I thread the needle once again? Yes, I did. I'm a real dead eye. I guess that's why I really like playing snipers in games when it like comes to like multiple roles. It's either a support or sniper, or support sniper. It's because I'm such a dead eye with these rifles. Yes, I know I probably could just fast travel to Sloan and be done with it, but you know what? Taking care of the Death Claws in this area will make my traveling through here and back much easier. Uh oh. I doubt this is going to work, but I'm going to take my chances. Holy shit! He, he was booking it. But Stranger put a stop to it. Well, I'm getting Mysterious Stranger a lot lately. Usually he doesn't show up a whole lot whenever I go in the vats. And man, a sandstorm's coming in. You know what? I'm not gonna lie. When a sandstorm comes in and like clouds cover the moon over there, it, it kind of gets pretty creepy. Oh god. Uh oh. Uh, Lily, this is yours. Go, go for it. Go for it. Nice. Oh, I guess I wasn't uh, crouch. Lily, you enjoying the night sky? That's good. Well, she hasn't gone on a psychotic rampage, so I can't really talk to her more about uh, her issue. Because it's not really an issue to talk about. Uh, it's kind of related to her personal quest, which isn't really even a personal quest. It's just more of a personal dialogue option. But it does tell a little bit of backstory about her, and it does affect the way sh she will perform for the rest of the game. But, sadly, we haven't had the chance to talk to her because I managed to kill everything that could set her off. Oh well. Pretty close to Sloan, so let's go pick up a reward from the miners over there, and then we'll go into the shacks and find that chemical supplies. If I remember right, he should be... Right there. Vats is always, like, the easiest way to tell, hey, the guy I'm looking for is somewhere around here. Maybe Vats will help me. You need something? Uh, I fixed Snuffle's leg. I noticed Snuffle's limping, but I didn't realize the problem was that serious. Thanks. That beast helps keep spirits up around here. Hey, I got some NCR fame. Uh, I killed the Deathclaw mother and the alpha male as well. Coming from anyone else, I'd say they were drunk or crazy. But that look in your eyes, I believe you. I'm surprised you can see a look in my I'm eyes behind this visor. It ain't much for what you pulled off. I'll get on the ham radio first thing and tell people all about you, though. And we got some more NCR fame and 500 NCR dollars. Oh boy, I can't wait to use those useless NCR dollars when everything costs bottle caps nowadays. Alright, let's get into the mining office. And our chemical supply should be upstairs, not down here. Lily, I know you like Sunset Sarsaparilla as much as I do, but this is just getting ridiculous. You're as bad as Cass when it comes to her trash companionship. Uh, I'm guessing... Suitcase? No, uh, that's a cigarette, so it is in the... Oh. I guess we have to 
check in with the empty suitcase. So. Uh, you know what? No one's in here. Might as well see what's inside the safe. I doubt there's anything useful. This is a semi-early level area. 34 bottle caps. Again, not useful, but eh, it's something. Oh my god, Lily. Alright. We'll take the Sunset Sasper at, at the least to get any more star bottle caps, unless it goes like last time. Mr. Chomp Louis CK, we have some questions for you. You need something? I'm looking for a suitcase filled with chemical supplies for a friend. Know anything? Ah, uh, yes. I think I know which friend you mean. Even if there weren't death claws in the quarry, there'd still be no delivery. The supplier, a guy in Prim named Tyrone, is a cheating son of a bitch who won't deliver even though he's already been paid in advance. Has he cheated on you before? He's always been shady, but this is the first time he's outright screwed me. Uh, you don't care that I'm helping the cons? I'm just a middleman. The great cons are a hard group, and some of them are no good. But they're not all the same. I believe in the NCR, but that doesn't make it right for them to roll over anyone who doesn't want any part of them. Uh, how do you know Melissa? She's my daughter. Takes a little too much after her mother, rest her soul. But she's happy with the great cons, and that's enough for me. Huh. Well, there's a little bit of backstory. Alright, so... Let's head off to Prim now. I, I guess while we're in Prim... We might as well pick up a unique Mojave weapon I've been putting off for far too many times that I've been there. And the reason behind it is because it's hi hidden behind uh, in a lock safe. But with my recent like lock picking upgrades, I think we have what it takes to open the safe now. So why don't we go and do that and then we'll go and talk to the slimy weasel who cheated the cons out of the supplies. And I guess I have to go through this door. I could sworn there's like more than one entrance. I know there's like the, the upper floor entrance on the side by the roller coaster. But I know there was like one or two more entrances in the ground levels to the hotel. And I don't think anyone's still alive in here. I remember coming through here and being very thorough in my executions of criminals. But anyways, inside this locked hard safe is if I can actually open the damn thing. Come on. Come on. This is not going to be easy for me, is it? There we go. We get some 357 Magnum rounds, bobby pins, bottle caps, casings, dirty water, and we get lucky the unique 357 Magnum. We also get a metal spoon for some reason, Nuka Cola, pre war money, psycho scotch, stim pack, super stim pack, and a wheat stone, which I honestly don't need because it's completely and totally useless. But hey, I will take these two bottle caps for compensation. Lucky, it's. I've never been one to use like the 357 Magnums, but if you're more of like the old Wild Western style of character you build, uh, this is the pistol for you. It's, it's a cool looking pistol. I will be giving this pistol to one of my followers whenever we go and get him, because he is the last one we need to get. However, it's going to be a while before we actually do get him. So, sadly, Lucky, you are going to have to wait on the back burner for a while. However, if I do get the chance to show you off, I will. I mean, there, there's a lot of weapons I haven't had a chance to show off permanently. Like, I haven't been able to show off the AER-4 team prototype in like combat i haven't been able to show knock knock in combat although there was that one incident with those prospectors that i rem think i remember like chopping them in half with lucky or knock knock yes i chopped them in half with a magnum that would have been impressive but let's head on into the camp it's been a while since we've been to the ncr uh Garrison area. Hello. Smart move for the kings to back down. They didn't know who they were messing with. Hey, hey, what can Tyrone do for you? Wow, your voice and your facial makeup does not match, buddy. 
A friend in Sloan told me to come to you about some chemical supplies. You trying to get me busted? Keep your damn voice down. Lieutenant Hayes already has his eye on me. Look, I already told Chomps the NCR is getting suspicious of all these misplaced supplies. Bigger risk means bigger cost. 300 caps bigger. <laughs> I'm sorry, what? But all these muscles make it hard to hear sometimes. What's that about a risk? Or I could speech him and say... I say the word and someone else will start making deliveries to Nevada, not you. Or is 300 counts worth being known as a deal breaker seems like bad business? We could also pay him a 300 counts, but, you know, we got three different options to make sure he stays in line. But you already paid in advance. Yeah, and as it turns out, the advance wasn't enough. The price has gone up. That's just how it goes. Aw, oh, man, I just missed out on my strength option. Alright, well, guess what? I could say the word and someone else will start making deliveries to Nevada, not you. I've reconsidered my position, and I think it would be in my best interest if I were to sacrifice my profit on this particular deal. Smart move, buddy. Now, oddly enough, I guess not oddly enough, if you were playing as female character and you had the... Was it Chesil Fame or no? Wait, it was Black Widow perk. Uh, you could, you know, sleep with him to make him look the other way and give you the supplies without having to uh, go with a speech uh, barter or a strength check. Yeah, I don't know if uh, confirmed bachelor, yeah, uh, confirmed bachelor works like uh, Black Widow does. I don't know. Future me is probably gonna throw it up on the screen if he can find anything. But Melissa, I have brought you a delivery from your gra from your father. You actually came through for us. I didn't expect that. Anyway, the Great Khans pay their debts and don't forget their friends. If you ever come out to Red Rock Canyon, I'll put in a good word for you. Thank you very much. We got some con fame, so if you haven't uh, decided to do the Boulder City or you messed up the Boulder City and you're feeling ballsy enough, you can come up to this part of Quarry Junction to get some con fame to safely enter Red Rock. Now, before we head back to Red Rock to finish the screw and the pooch to the Legion, there's one thing I want to make note of because it's not really a thing that's talked about. Uh, we'll put the quest marker on just so that we have it back on. Because we still need to frame the Legion guy to show him how bad the Legion is. Ugh, sorry about that. Uh, we want to head back to the State Park. It's not really the State Park itself, but there's a building nearby that I need to pay a visit to. It's actually right at the entrance to Red Rock Canyon, and I would have fast traveled to Red Rock itself. However, the thing is, I would have like landed right in front of where the uh, Papa Khan's cabin is. Oh wow, the uh, my camera's messed up because I'm wearing all this stuff on my face. Uh, where we need to go is this abandoned house over here. Because in the basement is something that, honestly, not a whole lot of people I've found know. And that would be, if we can actually get over to it, is in here, is the Great Con Supply Armory. It's kind of like the Great Con's version of the safe house. Uh, you can only get in here when you like get a good enough reputation with the cons. Otherwise, they'll tell you to get out or just, just outright won't sell anything to you. They tell me I'm supposed to sell you weapons. Interested? Sure. Take a look. Uh, they, they sell some kind of disappointing weapons, I guess. Like, they got a grenade rifle, so there's that. They got laser pistols, they got sniper rifles, they got recon armor, they got raider armor, an advanced radiation suit, and all this stuff, chems. Uh, I'll take the fixer and some stim packs, and here, have some NCR dollars. And buy yourself something nice. And they got, they got mods, so if you're looking for some weapon mods, you can come here as well as gun runners. I guess I'll take the casings and energy drainage stuff. And they got plenty of ammo to sell, so if you're looking for that as well. Pleasure. And damn it, I rhymed again. But yeah, I just wanted to show this off because it's not really something a whole lot of people really know about. So if you ever thought that there was any more 
reason to help the cons? Well, you get another armory to poke around in. And you don't even need a key to get in there, unlike most safe houses. Alright. And we are back in the Great Khan's Longhouse, and apparently everyone is here, except for Regis and Carl. And what the hell's that sound? Oh, the Khan's have apparently a very good drummer in their gang. Hi, Carl! I'm just gonna, don't mind me, just gonna sneak over here and uh, rifle through your underwear. I mean, what? Just take your journal, take your service rifle, and we'll take this. We don't know if I ever need to sneak into the Legion encampment in the future or not. And we'll just leave you be. Evening. What is this? Oh, just a generic con. Is Regis in here? Or is he... Yeah, he's probably out sleeping. It's only 11. Usually they're in here. It's not that late. Hello. All right, well, let's take a look at Carl's journal and see what it says. See his true feelings towards the cons. This journal consists of detailed records and observations from Carl's time with the great cons. Many of the entries go into great detail about his opinion on their savage, savage, barbarous customs, and at several points he waxes philosophic about how it's very likely that Caesar's legion will have to execute a lot of them. Huh. So apparently, Carl Boy has been harboring untasteful values towards the Legion. Let's just uh, wait a little bit to make sure everyone's in the longhouse before we expose Carl as this slimy little weasel that he is. 9 a.m. should be a good enough time. Uh, Papa? Papa? Where are you going? Papa? I know the elderly go to bed at early hours in the morning, but this is ridiculous. Farewell. Farewell? I just got here. Morning. Where's Carl? Uh, do I have to wait again? Alright, if it's not 1 p.m. that he shows up, then I give up. I give up. Okay, sorry about the awkward edit, but I've just learned something. Uh, as I've been trying to get Carl to oust the cons as his true views to them, you don't want to do that. Instead, you want to go talk to Regis or was it Papa Khan about his uh, thoughts about him and not try and can tell him what's up. Uh, Papa? More of my advisors are starting. Alright, uh, you should take a look at this. It's Carl's journal, and it's very revealing about his true opinions. Let me see that. Filthy savages. Probably have to decimate the lot of them. Are these the words of our friend, Caesar? Great cons. Drive Caesar's dog out of our camp. If he's too slow to flee, kill him. Evening. Bye, Carl. Whoa! 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 <laughs> Whoa, was right. Look at him, book. Uh, Papa, where are you going? Papa? Hey, nothing here after all. What the hell just happened? I know people get senile in their old age, but this is just ridiculous. Something Regis. Else you wanted? All right, I guess there's nothing else to talk about. Uh, let's talk about to Papa. See all if it, anything he can now be officially convinced to lives. lead the legion. Maybe I should hear you out after all. Thank you! I've come to ask the Great Cons to break their allegiance with Caesar's Legion. Hmm. I've heard some things from my most trusted Cons. It makes me wonder whether this alliance is a good idea after all. But I want to leave a legacy of greatness when I die. My tribe deserves better than this, cowering in a canyon and living on scraps. Tell me then, if I don't join with Caesar's Legion, where will I find my tribe's lost glory? Well, we have two uh, speech checks, and this actually determines the outcome of the Great Cons in the final bout after the Battle of Hoover Dam. Although, if you don't have the 75 speech to pass it, there is an alternate way to get through it without having to do it. 
uh, which will be covered in alternates and extras. But we have, uh, we don't need to look outward, mighty Khan. Your tribe is proud and strong to claim your own glory. Or what great legacy did the great Khans have? Your tribe is nothing more but ghosts and martyrs. Either way, it's, this will determine the, what happens to them. Either they leave uh, the Nevada, which will ensure their tribe survives and becomes better for itself to pretty much claim their own glory, or they will join the NCR in the final battle of Hoover Dam. However, it results in them pretty much killing themselves and going on a suicide attack against Legion. I'm not a heartless bastard, so I'm going to tell them, you know what? You should go and claim your own glory. You're not like other raiders. You're actually sensible. Well spoken, Traveler. Well spoken indeed. Perhaps it's time to find our own destiny, unburdened by the past. We'll begin readying the camp to move. As soon as Caesar makes his move, we'll depart. We will make ourselves strong again, and we shall conquer. Well, good luck with that. Uh, as long as you aren't fighting Caesar, I don't care what you do. Otherwise, I don't suppose you consider joining the NCR instead. Eh, you know what? These guys, they've had a hard life. I think they deserve to have a little bit of peace and solace in, in their tribe. So, that sounds very wise. I wish you the best. If you should ever tire wandering alone, seek us out. You might just have the makings of a great con yourself. Well, I have been doing a lot of work for your people, so, you know, I think I've already shown my prowess to you. But after all of that horse squabble, I don't know, I was about to say horse shit, but then for some reason just stopped myself. We are finally done with the Great Con section for the main story, and it took me enough time. This is actually take three with this, but... Oh. I understand you've been talking to the... I understand you've been talking to the Great Con. Start running! Run! Run, you Legion bastard! And don't ever let us see you in this canyon ever again! Anyways, as I was saying, uh, this is take three of this video. Now, it's not to say that technical issues got in the way. Take one was actually an alternate way that I finished the quest, but... The way I went about it, A, didn't really sit right with me in terms of commentary, and B, something happened to it that I didn't really want to show off yet until near the end of the game. Which, technically we are near the end of the game, but... Yeah. It's just not something I want to show off just yet. Not until, say, we get power armor. Then I'll show it off. My god, there's... Okay, for a second... Uh... I thought, like, another glitch happened because in one of the failed recordings, uh, Regis, uh, his entire body decided to turn into that of a shadow no! and had no colorless features. But we have done our job. We have done our job well, and we've done our job thoroughly. Let's head over to Colonel Moore and deliver the good news. I think I'm on the run level again. Or maybe not. I... I don't remember having to go into offices. It's been a while since I've done a recording, so my mind's a little bit of hazy. Oh, I guess it was a transition. I guess I'm just an idiot. That's uh, the bunkhouse. That's uh, more living quarters. That's the way. It always turns me around inside the Hoover Dam inner workings of where everything is. But here we are. Colonel, I have returned with good news. Yes. Did you have an update on the cons? Yes, ma'am. The cons won't be a problem for anyone ever again. Good riddance. We've had reports for years that they're the ones who supply the fiends with chems, but no one's done anything about it. In any event, no one will miss them. And I've got another mission for you. We've had some disturbing reports recently concerning the Omertas, one of the three families that run the Strip. Our intelligence has discovered that high-ranking members of the Omertas have been having clandestine meetings for the past several months. We haven't been able to determine whom they've been meeting with, but if it's Caesar's men, we'll need to act. I need you to uncover what they're up to and stop it if it threatens the NCR. Any questions? Uh, any idea where I should start? Head to their casino, Gamora, and ask around. If you discover that what they're up to threatens the NCR, stop it. The Omertas themselves likely won't be forthcoming, so you may need to talk to some of their help to pick up a trail. Anything else? Any leads? Our preliminary research shows that the Omertas used to do some business in Freeside, mostly buying weapons. Any other questions? No, ma'am. 
Liza O'Malley at the embassy may have some information for you as well. Dismissed. Yes, ma'am. Well, it was a matter of time before I decided to do some work on the strip, and, you know, there is a couple things that I need to do on the strip as well, besides the Omeritas, because we still need to go to the Ultralux, because we haven't really visited yet, and I also still need to do the talent pool stuff for the, um, uh, the tops. And there's also getting the last of the snow globes, which we're still missing two, and one is on the strip, so I... I think I might have what it takes to get into it. I don't know. We'll get to it when we get to it. But before we end things off, I want to head back to the Camp McCarran Terminal. And the reason is behind that is, after my shenanigans in Vault 3, I did a little bit of research. And by a little bit of research, I mean I went back and searched every nook and cranny of the vault again... And I've come to the consensus of I indirectly saved the ranger that was in the vault. Don't ask me how, but I did, in between videos, and it wasn't recorded so you don't have to worry about it, I did return to Camp McCarran to talk to uh, Colonel Shu about it, and he acknowledged that I rescued the ranger in there, so... We're going to head off to talk to him and see if there's any good rewards for it. I really just, like, ended it off before he said, when he said, Oh, hey, you rescued our ranger friend. Thank you very much for doing so. So we're going to head off. We're going to also collect the bounty on Motor Runner because, for some reason, he hasn't appeared in the three-card bounty. But there is a bounty associated with him. And also the reason because of his helmet. Now, his helmet is actually one of the most glitched things in the entire game. And in doing so, in killing Motor Runner before, after doing three card bounty, uh, you m may or may not have his helmet glitch permanently into your inventory, kind of like what your rebreather is. Because there will be a couple of times in the game where our entire inventory will be stripped out of us, and since it counts as a quest item, you can't take it out of your inventory, so there are. Per Sometimes we're, we'll keep uh, Motor Runner's helmet along with the rebreather. Anders showed up here not too long ago. I'm told you're the one who got him out of the vault. See, you indirectly you managed to save Anders from the vault. The was a mistake. Uh, I don't understand how you could be so careless with the life of a ranger. I hoped he'd be able to slip past their security and be out before anyone knew he was there. But I underestimated the fiends. Should have known better given the hell they've caused for us. Regardless. What you did for Anders isn't something he or any of us around here take lightly. We're all glad to have him back. Thank you. Eh, uh, yeah, yeah. Motor Runner's dead, and I brought his helmet as proof. Unbelievable. That man has given us so much grief since we set up here. This may be a major turning point for us. I can't tell you how many times we thought we'd taken him out, only to have him show up again later, taking more heads off of fallen troopers. This is for the bounty. And this is from a pool me and a lot of the soldiers around the base had going. You may not be NCR, but hey, it's only fair. I'm more NCR than most of the troopers inside this base. Also, was that a dead pool? <laughs> and hey, I leveled up. All right, so let's see what we can pour some stuff into. Alrighty, so I upped repair up to 90 so that we can finally get that perk I've been gunning for for a long time. I up medicine to 70 so I can get more mileage out of my stim packs, and I think I might leave medicine at 70 for now. Uh, lock picks is at 90, so next level up we can just up it to 100 so we can finally get those super hard locks, and I can also go get that unique Mojave weapon that I've been putting off for far too long. Thank you, game, for having it hidden behind a super hard safe. And I up guns to 58 just so that it stops swaying a whole lot and, you know, uh, I, I can start aiming more properly. Now comes the... Aw, oh man. The glitch didn't happen. Or did it? Nope, Motor Runner's helmet is out of my inventory. Sadly, the glitch didn't happen, so I've lost it permanently in the game. So sad, so sad, but hey, that's just the life of a, a courier. So, with all that said and done, we've done a lot. We killed a lot of Death Claws. We cleared out Sloan. We brought back news about Vault 3 to the NCR. We helped uh, persuade the Khans to not join the Legion and make a name for themselves in their own ways out in the wasteland. 
Next, next time on Fallout New Vegas, we are not gonna go to the Strip. Instead, we're gonna be doing something a little bit different. We're gonna be doing a little bit of exploring around the Mojave. It's gonna be more of a laid-back video, so if you want to avoid it, I understand, but... Basically, we're just gonna be going around to various locations every now and then and just, you know, see what we can find. Uh, just because we've been focusing on story stuff for a while, and you know, the adventure aspect hasn't really been taking a back seat, so we're gonna be doing that. But until then, I'm gonna see you guys next time. Later! two things to cover in today's alternates and extras. Number one is Oh My Papa, and number two is Vault 3, so let's get started. First things first, if you'd rather try to confront Carl about his views toward the cons instead of stealing his journal behind his back using speech checks, then he will be killed on the spot by the cons in the Lawn House, so long as Papa Khan and Regis are present. Join? Oh no, I, I simply couldn't. That is, I'm not worthy of such an honor. Of course I am. That is to say, Caesar has many fine warriors, and I wouldn't wish to compare them to the great Khans. Enough! How dare you compare Caesar's finest to this tribe of savages? The mightiest great Khan is scarcely a match for a legion recruit. The burned man would leave their mightiest shitting themselves in terror. I would. That is... You motherless bastard. You'll pay for this. Great cons. Drive seat. Hey! Had enough. However, doing it this way nullifies any chance of giving his journal to Papa, which means you're gonna have to go all the way to the fort, and if you're like me and have a bad reputation with the Legion, then you better have decent stealth or get ready for a tough fight. The ledger is located on a table next to Caesar's throne. Next is the way to affect the outcome if you don't have the speech to pass the checks. You can instead go to Julie in Mormon Forge, which then she will send you to the 188 trading post where you can get a history book on the Mongol Empire there to give the Papa Khan. Unfortunately, tragic history. The original incarnation, much farther out west, was almost completely wiped out by one of those itinerant heroes so common in the post-war years. Then, of course, the new Khan suffered a similar fate, some say at the hands of the same hero, though of course the dates are all wrong for that. Well, after they migrated to the Mojave, we established relations with them, but that soured when all they wanted was to make drugs. The NCR eventually took them down quite a bit, but the really fascinating thing about them is the origin of their culture as a whole. You see... Oh, of course. I'm sorry, I do tend to get wrapped up in my own theories and forget that not everyone finds them as fascinating as I do. <laughs> Here, I salvaged this book from an old library. It's a history of people called the Mongols. I think that's what the Khans built their culture on. You should read it. It's fascinating stuff. An alternate solution to Vault 3, but I wanted to show the ranger you need to rescue and where to find him. He's located past the booby trap tall in a server room, wounded, and can easily be killed. So you can either lie to him and let him get killed by the fiends in the vault for his goods, or heal him to get some experience points out of it. God damn it. I know. I was just hoping that, uh, are you trained as a doctor? Can you fix my leg? What are you waiting for? I've got a high-value target to kill. Thanks for the assistance, Doc. God damn it. Fine, I'll head back. Are you saying you'll handle Motor Runner yourself? Here, take this. It's the key to the maintenance wing. Should make getting a Motor Runner that much easier. Good luck. And that's all there is to it. Thank you all for watching, and I will see you all next time.